Okay, we are trying a new setup here, um, recording onto uh, StreamYard. So let's get into this. Today's we are looking into making speech bubbles with Procreate. Uh, speech balloons, speech bubbles, I call them either or. Some people don't like them to be called bubbles, but it doesn't really matter. Speech bubbles, speech balloons, thought bubbles can be do done the same way. But uh, Procreate is pretty easy to do. Um, there are some tools. If you uh, saw my last video on creating borders or panels, um, I will put a link right up here, and that will have the link to the last video, which is a Teo Monero's um, link on that video. He has some great brushes to create uh, not only comic book panels, but comic book uh, speech balloons also. But uh, like those panel brushes that he has, I find them a little bit more complicated than they need to be, even though they are cool. Same thing with the speech balloons. So what I do is really simple, and I'm going to basically walk you through how I do speech balloons in Procreate. Uh, super easy, and right now this is an uh, early page from my comic book, my graphic novel, The Amazing Red Bee. The uh, sign-up page for the mailing list is up now. Go ahead and sign up. I will put a link to that in the description down below because uh yeah by signing up you get early access or not early access you get an exclusive trading card and you get what do you get you get a discount also yeah so that will be launching early 2023 but i am doing the sign up page now for the next few months trying to gain some traction on this it is an awesome all ages uh story featuring the amazing red bee his adventures and protecting hive city and uh yeah there's a uh, Going to be some more information along the way coming for that as we move closer to the launch. Anyways, let's get into this. So I'll create a new uh, layer, which I already did there. And so if we're in panel one, basically what I do is I use the monoline tool. That's the brush or the monoline brush. That is the brush that comes in Procreate. I go to about a size 10, usually maybe something smaller. And I will just basically... Oh, let's change colors here to black. Doing this, drop the opacity of this there. And I will basically go over my bubble there. I'll go through a couple times. Hold your pin down and you got a bubble. Now to do the little tail, you try to want to get it pointing towards the mouth of the person who's talking. And what I do is hold there. Well, Kind of do a fluid motion, and then if you hold it, nope, one line at a time, that's what it is. Kind of keeps it curved, but it makes it, if you hold it down and you have just enough curve, it's going to keep that smooth line. Same thing going back up. There we go. If you do it too fast or the curve is not too not enough of a curve, the Procreate will automatically make it a straight line, and you'll have to do it over again. No big deal, but yeah. Just, just do be aware of that. Now, what I'll do is go back in here and erase here. The thing about making speech balloons in Procreate is it is a little more time consuming than making them in uh, Photoshop or Clip Studio or Illustrator because in Procreate, um, if you're not using that brush, which the brush does uh, come in handy if you're trying to do the tails because the brush will just brush straight through the speech balloon. But if you're not doing that, you have go have to go back and erase those lines. But simple, easy peasy, lemon squeezy right there. And we got, boom, got a speech balloon with the tail pointing down to Mothball. That is the villain's name. All right. So the next thing you want to do, you want to add words in there. Again, as opposed to Photoshop, Clip Studio, Illustrator. Uh, Procreate doesn't make it super easy. I mean, it does make it super easy to add the words, but you don't have as much, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You don't have as much say in how you want them organized. You don't have as much control to change things around. But if all you're using is Procreate, then there, there is a way to do it. What you want to do is go up here. You want to go to add text. And now we got text here. I'm going to change this over because I used my pen and that will make me want to use a pen, but I don't want to do that. Just get rid of that, delete that. Go to add text. Boom. It's going to be saying red B. Exclamation point. Now let's do. 
All right. And then what we want to do is go to this A on the side there, and that will give you the change of fonts and all the letting, the kerning, which we'll get to in just a second. But we are changing this font because I like to use this font. Where did it go? Jack Strong, Jack Armstrong BB. I can't remember where I got this. I might've got it from, I can't remember where I got it. So, but there are a couple out websites out there that offer some great fonts. Some of them are free. Some of them have very low cost. So definitely be, uh, just do a Google search for comic book fonts and you'll, you'll find a couple of different ones. So yeah, that's what we're doing there. Um, but it didn't do it because I didn't have it highlighted. So we'll go back into there. Check strong, boom, there we go, red B. And what I'll do is keep going with this red B. I've been waiting for you. Let's see, change this around here. And now, more exclamation point, go back to the font uh, settings by doing that. And you can change your size here. Oops, cancel. You wanna have it all highlighted. So if you do three taps, you usually get it all highlighted there. You can change the size of it. And what you wanna do, a lot of times you wanna adjust the kerning, which is going to be how close the letters are to each other. Sometimes you want to adjust the tracking, which is again, how, how wide the letters go apart. What I try to adjust is, not that part, the letting, which is how far, how, how much space is between each line of text. Try to, I think I try to keep it at a five, a negative five. So done, we'll do that. And the size, I think I'm gonna change this to an 18, done. There we go. Now you can just move it around there. And that is how you create a speech bubble or speech balloon and modify the text. Like I said, there's a lot of other modifications you could do for the fonts when you're working on those. There's a lot of other uh, modifications you can do for the speech bubble or speech balloon. If you are working, if you want to do a thought balloon, which a lot of people don't really do that much anymore. Um, I don't know if you can really do it. Cancel that. Go back to my lit balloon layer. I don't think you can hold it down and it's going to make it jagged. So what you'll want to do is whatever pin you're going to be using, make sure the settings on it for the stabilization is super high, is at, is at the most. And that will help a lot in keeping those lines um, not so wiggly and whatnot. And that will give you a real handheld feel to it. And then you can just do the, the circles by holding your pin down and make them a little bit smaller as they go to the face. So you got that, and that would be a thought balloon there. Like I said, Photoshop, Clip Studio, Illustrator, all of those are gonna have many more um, ways to adjust and a lot more control over how it looks. But if you're using Procreate, this works just fine. And yeah, so pretty, pretty simple there. Uh, a small, uh, quick video on speech balloons because that's pretty much all there is to it. You can do other things like if you're creating a thought balloon, not a thought balloon, but a um, like a narrator is talking in the background or a voice or voiceover is like describing what's going on. All you would do is make your box or rectangle. You can either hold it like that and it kind of keeps it a little bit, um, you know, lopsided or you can just make straight lines by following the graph. And the graph again was shown in the last video. I will put the link up in the corner there, but you can do, follow these graph lines and that would be good. And you can just add a little bit of a flare to it by doing uh, 
just a kind of like a little background. And so you would put your words, whoops, you, you would put all your words in here and maybe make this a certain color, say, let's do red. And then in the back, bottom part, you could put like, I don't know, like a dark yellow or something. And it just adds a little bit more pop, a little bit more um, creativity to the page of what you're working on. But yeah, anyways, there you go. So that's a pretty simple, pretty easy way to do speech bubbles, speech balloons in Procreate. If you like this, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, hit that bell for notifications. And like I said, if all ages is into is what you're into, if all ages books with uh, cool superheroes and, you know, kids learning how to be heroic and overcome adversity and that kind of storytelling is interested in, interesting to you uh check out the uh sign up page for the amazing red bee if you have a little one in your life a little boy or girl son daughter niece nephew grandson granddaughter and you think they might be interested in something like that sign up for that newsletter and make sure you're aware of when that campaign goes live early 2023 is when i will be launching and you will be able to get that book for yourself, for your kids, your grandkids, anybody else. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Like I said, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know if you have any other uh, things you want me to cover in Procreate while, as it pertains to making comic books. And I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.